So I've used a piece of one inch thick plywood, two two by fours, then some half inch plywood on the sides to create my angle. Plywood here is simply screwed to the two by fours, and then this is fastened on an angle. How we generate the angle is that we know that the length of our scarf should be three inches for our 3 16 thick plywood that we're using today. So we're going to set it, we set these based on that angle so that we get a cut that is three inches long that goes from zero to 3 16 How we find the angle is we can use a scrap piece of wood and measure it out, use an angle finder like this. Or if we know what the degree of the angle can be, should be, we can use an angle finder with the degrees already labeled on it. So we'll set these up at the same height at the, at the front here, and then we'll raise the back so that they're parallel, the same height, and at the correct angle. Then, for our router, we mounted our router to a piece of PVC board. We use dissimilar materials because they tend to slide better. And we've created a clearance hole and three countersunk holes to mount it. Now, our height here, is also the same depth or that we've set our router bit so that when we set our router bit up here at the front and we touch it, it just barely touches the edge of the plywood. So as we work cutting this scarf and we pull the router back to us or from the other side pushing it away from us, that the router slides up the heel, creates the scarf cut. When we remove the router, our wood will have the scarf cut in it. Now, one thing is that we would adhere our plywood down with screws, fender washers that'll hold it in place. Just make sure you pull the fender washers far enough back so that your router bit doesn't hit those. You can ruin your router bit. So we have our plywood up ready to scarf. We've lined up the front to be flush with the edge of our jig. Then we've got a three inch mark coming back for our three inch scarf. We use screws and washers to hold the plywood down. We've got supports off the back of the table to hold up the other end of the plywood. Bring our router in, work from top to bottom to cut our scarf. If we make a mistake, if we have a burr or something that we don't like, don't worry about it. Sander will take care of it. If it's a low spot, you can fill it in with epoxy.